Hey y'all, Jan here. I'm going to show you how to recreate this chart without using any code. So let's talk about this chart. It is a strip plot um, that I created for a piece that looks at how often songs by women, men, and mixed gender artists are played back to back on country radio. Um, in this chart, every date is um, a column and then kind of the stripes or the strips or the lines uh, represent individual songs. And then they're color coded based on uh, if that song is a back to back play. Um, so you can see here that the majority of songs um, end up being that kind of dark brown, which is uh, indicates a back to back song by men. And there's very few kind of back to back songs by women or um, mixed gender ensembles. So this chart um, was created using uh, Svelte D3 and HTML Canvas, so all kind of front end development technologies. But the original idea for it came from um, just a spreadsheet, came from something that requires no coding knowledge at all. So let's go look at that spreadsheet. This is what it originally looks like. Um, it's got kind of the fields of everything that you need, uh, the date, um, the owner of the station, the station name, where the station is located, the time of the play, um, the artist and the song title, whether that's a solo, a group, or a collaboration. Uh, and then the gender and uh, the race of the artists on the song. Um, we need to fill out the, kind of this back-to-back -back column, this B2B column. And so I'm going to get um, kind of an if uh, equation that I wrote earlier, and I'm going to place it on the second row here because um, you don't need to know the first row because there's no song before it, therefore it can't be a back-to-back. -back. Uh, and that first line of the if statement kind of reflects that. Um, it says that if the date is equal, then um, we can have a back-to-back -back and we can look for it. But if it, the dates are not equal, so if these two dates are not equal, then we need to start the count over again um, because that means it's the first song of the day. But let's get back to those back-to-back uh, -back tags. So if those dates are equal, we're going to look for back-to-backs. And what that means is that the current song that we're on um, the gender of that artist equals the previous song's artist gender. And so then code that by uh, if they're both men, back-to-back -back men, both women, back-to-back -back women, and then both male-female ensembles, back-to-back male-female. So I'll hit enter, and then I'm going to take this and just double-click on it. And it's going to fill out the rest of this column here. So that's how I get kind of like my back-to-back -back tagging. Uh, and then what I'm going to do to kind of get it in this day-by-day -day column format is just some really simple copying and pasting. Um, so I have already done the first uh, date, so I'm going to start with the second date. So I'm going to filter everything by the second date, and I'm going to say, okay, give me just that second date, the 24th of January. And then I'm just going to do a copy-paste of what the back-to-back -back row tells me. Copy that take that into a new sheet. Um, and then here's my row for the 24th. So I'm gonna say Shift Command V, which only copies uh, the values there. And you can kind of see it here, get that out of the way. You can kind of see this flowing here. So with this still highlighted, what I wanna do is to create some conditional formatting for that. Uh, and I want to go and I want to say, if the contents of the cell is equal to back to back min, then color that, that dark brown, add another rule. If it's equal to back-to-back -to -back women, color it this blue, add another rule, equal to back-to-back -to -back male, female, color it this orange, add another rule. And then if that cell is empty, then we're going to say that it's not a back-to-back -back play. Give me this, um, actually I did the the font there, change that back, give me that as that brown, or the tan color. I'm going to say done. So you can kind of start to see it here where we're starting to get those date by date columns. And you can see it scrolled down. And then the best thing that you can kind of do to just kind of smush, smush that together is to highlight everything and then just make those rows smaller. And there you can kind of see those dates happen there, or, or that formatting. 
So imagine doing that for all of the 19 dates uh, and you get something that looks like this. And I'm gonna zoom it uh, a little bit down so you can actually see it. Uh, here's that same chart, let's go back to it. Uh, all the dates are the columns and the colors match whether they're back to back place. So same thing here, all the dates are columns uh, and the colors match. And there is your chart uh, using the spreadsheet, just in Google Sheets. Um, I think it's kind of really cool to see um, there's, you know, basically like 6,000 points of data uh, in this spreadsheet and uh, the same here, about 6,000 uh, songs over the course of 19 days. Um, but this is what I originally built uh, before building even the coding piece. So it, it's cool to see that even just, you know, no coding knowledge can make you can help you make uh, super compelling visuals.